What's up guys, welcome back to Cooking with William. Today we're going to be making some delicious blackened snapper. Let's get to it. Before we get to the snapper, let's talk about sides. This dish goes great with some cilantro lime rice, starting with about a half a cup of white rice for each person you want to serve. And then for every half cup of white rice, I like to add a half a cup plus a tablespoon of water. But you can change the water based on your rice preferences. Now to make cilantro lime rice, of course, we need lime, starting with the zest of one small lime. Make sure you only get the green part, not the white inside. Now add the juice of half of that lime, saving the other half to finish the dish with. Finally, season the rice with a little pinch of kosher salt. Now bring the rice to a boil over medium-high heat, covered, and then let simmer for 15 minutes while we work on our Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts often get a bad rap, but when they're prepared correctly, they can be extremely delicious. The first step is to just cut the woody base off, and if any of the outside leaves start to fall off in the process, feel free to peel those off. You basically just want to condense the sprouts into their edible portions. You don't want to eat those hard stems. Now you can just cut each Brussels sprout into quarters just like this. This maximizes the surface area that can get nice and crispy and browned in the oven. There's nothing worse than just a steamed Brussels sprout. You really want to get a nice char on it. Speaking of, we're going to line a small baking sheet with tin foil to avoid any unnecessary cleanup. Go ahead and grease that up with a little bit of olive oil. Don't be too stingy here. Then season with kosher salt and black pepper for the basics and then add anything you want. I use garlic powder, onion powder, and a little bit of red pepper flakes for heat, but you can switch this up however you want. I also like to add a little bit of lime juice. It really brightens up the Brussels sprouts. Just mix that up with your hands and then you're going to want to take each Brussels sprout and make sure one of its flat sides are touching the bottom of the baking sheet. This really maximizes crispiness. Pop that in an oven at 425 degrees for about 15 minutes until they're nicely browned. This gives us the chance to talk about the fish. When possible, it is best to get your fish the day you are going to cook it. For some dishes, frozen fish is fine, but for this, the fresher the fish, the better it's going to be. I'm going to be using this beautiful filet of skin on red snapper. Now I like the skin on the fish, as you can see here, it looks extremely beautiful. And if you cook it correctly, it crisps up really nicely in the skillet. But if you do not want the fish skin or you're using a fish that does not have a great skin like catfish, feel free to take it off. Now I'm cooking for one, so I'm going to trim this into a more manageable portion. The next step is to pat it extremely dry. You want to get as much of that moisture off the surface, which helps it sear and get a really nice crust when we cook it in the pan. Now let's talk about seasoning. As you can see here, I'm just using Old Bay. This is one of the easiest and most delicious ways to get a nice blackened flavor on some fish. There are dozens of other blackened seasonings on the market that you could use or you could make your own. Making your own seasoning lets you have more control over the individual flavors and the salt levels, but there's something to be said about the simplicity of just grabbing a shaker out of your cabinet and seasoning your fish. Once you have seasoned every single inch of that fish, you're going to want to heat a large cast iron skillet over medium high heat until it begins to smoke. Grease that up with some sort of neutral flavored oil or olive oil if you want, and then gently lower your fish away from you to avoid any splashing. Now to avoid the skin curling up, make sure you push down with your spatula or your fingers for about 30 to 60 seconds. Eventually the skin will stick to the cast iron and then release when it's done cooking. Keep it skin side down until it is almost done cooking. You can tell how close it is using this little lighter section of the fish. This is done so I'm going to give it a flip and you can see that nice charred crispy skin. It only needs about 30 seconds on the other side until it's done. Go ahead and let it rest under some tin foil while we chop our cilantro. You need about a quarter cup per person. I find it easier to just chop it directly off of the bunch like this and then just run your knife through it a couple of times. Now we are going to take our already cooked lime rice and turn it into cilantro lime rice along with a little bit of butter and a pinch of kosher salt. And I like to finish it with a little extra lime juice. Go ahead and mix that up until the butter is fully melted and the cilantro is evenly dispersed throughout the rice. Now we can plate up, starting with a very large mound of our beautiful cilantro lime rice. This acts like a bed that will keep our fish warm when we lay it right on top of it. 
Doesn't that just look delicious? It looks even better when we add our Brussels sprouts that have been nicely charred in the oven. I'm going to be honest, it was hard to let this sit long enough to get the footage I need, but I went ahead and added the extra butter from the pan. This is just pure flavor, there's no reason to throw it out. Finish with a little flaky salt and a squeeze of fresh lime to finish. There you have it, blackened snapper with cilantro lime rice and roasted Brussels sprouts. Thank you guys so much for watching, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to like and subscribe and let me know in the comments what I should do next time. Also, there are related videos to this one on the end screen. Thank you.